Yo guys, what is up? Splate here back with a new video and before the video actually starts I want to say that um, I pretty much want to bring back my old server Splatecraft, which is a server for my subscribers and viewers um, I kind of want to bring that back and this time it will be actually dedicated So yeah, so um what I did is I left I made a Google form and you just click on the link down below in the description If you're interested in this, but if you want to position in my server for a moderator position uh, Which will help me, you know build a server build the spawns, you know, just moderate the server um, obviously you need to have previous experiences with servers and uh, stuff like that um, You can go ahead and apply with the link down below in the description But um, yeah, so let's get started with the actual video. So in this video, we're going to pretty much um, show you guys how to install shaders uh, the shaders mod and I've done a video on this a while back, but um, that video is kind of outdated now So yeah, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your web browser and you want to go to this website uh, It'll be a link down below, but it's for um, the Java requirement. I uh, want to hear just make sure you um, Check out the first link which is the Java update and here just update to the latest Java and then um, then I would recommend you getting their Java rim, uh, runtime environment, which should be the third link. And just go through the uh, go to here, accept it, and then download the Java that is um, download the installation that is applicable for computer 64 bit or the 32 bit. Um, and uh, after you got uh, that done and you have everything installed, go ahead and just exit that exit out of the site. And then go ahead and go to the Optifine website and then go ahead and click on download right here. Go ahead and go and save that like so. And um, there we go, it's downloaded. And last website here, we have a shaders pack website. It's just a Google document. And um, here you can find all the shaders packs that um, you can use uh, for this mod. So yeah, but I'll go over that in a little bit. Also make sure you do have the latest update for a graphics driver. And do make sure you have a pretty decent computer with pretty decent graphics card and stuff like that that can actually run shaders if you know you have a really bad computer just don't even um, just don't even try running it but anyways um you should have the jar file downloaded for Optifine over here we're just gonna go ahead and just double click on that and this should open up the installer if this does not open up you might have to do all the um, Java thing that I mentioned earlier in the video um, the prerequisites for it so just make sure you got those installed and this should open up hopefully and then once it does open up just go ahead and click on install and there we go Optifine is successfully installed do make sure that if you do get an error another error that says you have to run this version first or whatever um, just go ahead and go uh, open up your Minecraft and make sure you have um, ran at least um, version 1.0 uh, 9 at least once so make sure you have ran uh, minecraft version 1.8.9 at least once and um, Yeah, so it's, it should say that so we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna just go into our minecraft again um, Just uh, launch it again and then on the profile drop down click on that and choose optifine There should be a new thing called optifine to so click on that and then make sure it says minecraft 1.8.9 optifine um, dash HDU uh, G7 so make sure it says that whole thing because that's the version of Optifine we installed after it says that just go ahead and hit play and um, This should start up Minecraft and after it starts up just go in and minimize Minecraft like so now We're going to open up any folder does not matter which we're going to type in Percent app data percent just like that on a address bar on top of the folder We're gonna hit enter it should take you to your roaming directory here You want to go into your dot Minecraft folder once you have done that um uh, you will need a shaders packs folder. So if you don't have this folder, just right click new make a folder call it all lowercase shaders you No know, shader packs just like that. But I already have one so we don't need that um, Yeah, so make sure you have that folder and that's pretty much it You want to go into that folder and now we want to download some shaders or shader packs. So um, go back to the um, Document with all the shaders packs and stuff that I provided in the link down below so um, once you're here, just um, choose the one that you like. I'm just gonna uh, use the uh, Shaders Unbelievable sh uh, Sonic Others Unbelievable Shaders mod um, mod pack. I mean Shaders pack, like so. And uh, this is a very very popular one. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit until I find the downloads for it. There we go. And the current stable version seems to be version 10.1 for this. And then you have your choices over here. Usually it will have multiple choices and the lowest one would be recommended for a not so fast computer, not so, you know, decent computer. Um, then you can go up depending on what kind of computer you have. So um, I have a pretty decent computer with a 4790K and a 
GTX 970 graphics card. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the Ultra um, version with Motion Blur. Um, not a lot of people like Motion Blur, but I don't think it's that bad. But anyways, um, so it should take you in most cases to an AdFly site. Um, just wait for the thing to go down over here. And then once you see Skip Ad, just click on that. Then you want to check this and go ahead and download that. Click on download. And now we want to just roam to that same directory or you can just save it to your desktop like so. And after it's done downloading your shaders pack, it should be in a zip folder. Um, don't open that folder or anything. You just wanna go ahead and drag that into the shaders packs folder that's in your .minecraft folder that we have opened up earlier. Like so, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that. I'm gonna go back to Minecraft and then we're gonna go into our world. Just load into that. All right, once we're in our world, we're just gonna hit escape, go to options, go to video settings, and you wanna go to performance and make sure um, fast render is set to off, and then you're gonna hit done, and then you wanna click on shaders right here, and this should populate with all the shaders that you've downloaded. So I've only downloaded the, you know, SUS uh, shader with ultra motion blur, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that, um, like so. It should be by off by default, so we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna hit, go ahead and hit done, and hit done again done one more time and back to game here we are with the shaders and as you can see it looks fantastic holy crap and um yeah so there you have your shaders um that's pretty much all you have to do to install it again you don't need forge or anything like that and also one more thing what you want to do is go to options and go to video settings and go to details and turn off clouds turn it off like so so you can actually see the shaders cloud like so and there you go and let's see how much um, FPS I'm getting with shaders. So I'm getting around 100 um, FPS average um, with the shaders. Obviously I'm recording so that kind of bumps the sh uh, FPS down as well. But um, usually um, without shaders I get around 1000 FPS or not, um, 800 FPS with Optifine that is. But anyways, um, so that's pretty much it for the video. Um, if you like it, give it a like uh, on this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And uh, suggest a new tutorial or a video you want to see in the future down below in the comment section. And until then, guys, I'll be back with a new video. Peace.